Hello boys and girls, it's me, it's Miss Webb here. I hope you've had a lovely half term and you're nice and rested and you're ready for another week of home learning. This week, today, I'm going to do a bit of a science experiment with you because we have been doing a little bit about under the sea and looking at things that sink and float in water. So I thought this experiment would be a really fun one to do when you don't need much at all. All you need is a nice clear glass so that you can see what's happening during the experiment. You need some raisins or currants. Try and pick out quite small ones. They're the ones that work best. Okay, you don't need lots. And you also need some lemonade or some Sprite, some very fizzy. Try and get the fizzy ones, not one that's been flat for a while. So some nice fizzy lemonade. Okay, and what you're going to do is, first of all, you might need a, a grown-up to help you is to pour some of your lemonade into your glass. Okay, you don't want it too full. Ooh. don't want it overflowing. Okay, so I've nearly filled mine up to the top. You can see all the bubbles here. So it's very, very fizzy lemonade, this one I've got. And what we're going to do, we're going to drop some of the raisins into the lemonade. So before you do that, I want you to have a think about what's going to happen when you drop the raisins in. Do you think they're going to float? Do you think they're going to sink? Do you think they're going to do something different? There's a clue in the name of the experiment. It's called the dancing raisin experiment. I wonder why it's a dancing raisin. Okay, so I'm going to do it now. Hopefully you can do this at the same time as watching me, or you might watch this afterwards, whatever. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to get a couple to start with. Are you ready? So you can see they've dropped to the bottom. But oh my goodness, look what's happened. <gasps> they've dropped to the bottom again. And then it comes back up. Why does it do that? Let's put another one in. In it goes down to the bottom. So that's why we call it the dancing raisin experiment, because they're dancing. They're having a little dance in the glass. Let's put another one in. You don't have to put too many in, otherwise it might go a bit crazy. So why? It's not like they're sinking or they're floating. They're doing both. But why? Do you think it's something to do with our Sprite, our fizzy lemonade? If you look really closely, what have the raisins got around them, like a little coat? They've got all the bubbles surrounding them. So what happens when you first drop one in, is it goes to the bottom, it sinks, but then it gets all the bubbles around it and it gets energy to pop up to the surface. And that's why it then floats. And then after a while, the bubbles pop at the surface and it sinks again. And it does the same again. So it sinks for a little bit, gets some more bubbles gathered up around it, and then it pops up to the surface and floats. You could have lots of fun with this, couldn't you? Drop a few more in. And it's like a little raisin party in there. See which one maybe can float for the longest. Well, I've got quite a few in there now, you can see. So as soon as they get to the surface, the bubbles start popping and they lose all of that energy and then they sink again. Okay. So I want you to have lots of fun doing this, boys and girls. It's been very fun me doing it on my own, but I'm sure you can have lots of fun. Maybe take a video or some photos of your science experiment and send them to Mrs Atkinson and I. Okay. See you soon, boys and girls. Bye.